Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Princess Tarot. It has been a minute, but we are going to get right back into it. Welcome to Princess Tarot. I am Prince Tay. As usual, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to continue to support my readings and my channel as well, okay? This is going to be a um, higher self, okay, energy channeling where I'm going to get some messages from your higher self, okay? So if these messages resonate with you, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to support it channel and all that fun stuff okay so let's get into it spirits of the ancestors higher self messages okay let's see what messages from your higher self excuse me what messages may you need to know from your higher self here okay let's see we have intuition here i seen like pretty point blank front and center <coughs> so with the energy of like intuition hold on i just want to cleanse the energy real quick oh Yes, I love this spray. It's like anxiety release, but it also got it from the same spiritual shop that I got my beads from. So it's really good for like energy protection as well as like relieving anxiety. Lord knows I need it. So let's get let's get into it. Let's see. It's really it's ancestors. Yes, so if you literally like suffer from anxiety or just, you know, anxious energy, like I would recommend getting it. Uh, yeah. High like ran, 10 out of 10, and it smells good, okay? Back to the reading, though. So a lot of people, that could be like a message from your higher self, right? To continue to, like, up your protection. Not only your physical protection, but your spiritual protection, okay? Whatever this means, this could be, um, you know, um, basically, you know, being more in your own energy, okay? Um, kind of, like, protecting your energy in certain, in certain ex ex uh, instances, okay? More specifically. It's like... You don't always have to be protective of your energy is what I'm getting. Like, you don't always have to be, uh, it's just certain specific instances and know when, what to put your energy into and what to not put your energy into is what I'm getting from, um, higher self energy. But for the, uh, messages, we have screen card and then we have so many opinions, so many options, the first two card out here, okay? So I feel as if, um, your higher self wants to let you know, like, so with this screen energy okay it talks about showing up for yourself here okay continuing to show up for yourself like continuing to put um put that love into yourself here okay that's the that's the energy that it's giving continuing to love on yourself right with this energy of screen okay we have so many opinions and so many options here okay i feel like if you love okay so you can have a lot of opinions like going on around you here now this does not have to be specifically with people like that's currently or you know that's like in your community or surrounding you or whatnot whatever the energy may be but i'm getting that there are a lot of opinions floating around the airways okay floating around about you possibly here okay with this higher self energy but i feel like most of it is talking about how love that you actually are here okay i feel like people are talking about maybe like how you are loved or like how people how they miss you even here okay what the energy is talking about like and i'm also getting like your higher self is like okay well, your higher self is like you know just don't go don't don't go right into thinking like everyone has an out for you this that and the other okay because that's not the case right i feel like there are so many opinions or so many people that do love you or that do that um that you are loved by here okay especially with this love energy we also have independent energy okay yes yeah, so spirit your most high or <laughs> spirit your most high spirit the most high your higher self they want you to let you know like continue to be independent like they see you doing your thing like i feel like a lot of you all are um could be content creators okay producers of some sort here okay um i'm hearing um i don't know why i'm hearing them them fatale okay something about that is very significant here a lot of you all can have some sort of like like femme fatale type of energy about you here okay we have journey here coming up in um the reverse here okay so with the independent and the journey coming up in reverse i feel as if there could have been some people that were trying to like halt or slow down like your independent journey like your own journey here okay something about vibrations as well because of your vibe because of the energy that you do actually like um maybe uh um hold within yourself here okay with this independent and the journey in reverse with as well as, as well as with these vibrations here okay it's gonna be a specific group of people here okay with the energy of friend group coming up as well all right these people could have definitely been working together literally working behind the scenes working in cahoots here but it's like it's never gonna go in their favor because you actually are this very sweet person like we have this energy of play here okay so i feel as if a lot of you are in this like energy of like ha just having a good time like you're literally like enjoying your energy yeah i feel like it's almost magical here okay something about you something about the, the it's literally like okay we have karmic and reverse here yeah it's it's very much a divine energy like a divine child energy okay that's 
very much so what it's giving you, okay? Something about moon, the moon as well. You all could be like moon fairies and like moon witches or like moon, you know, whatever. Something about the moon here. I feel like a lot of you all get your energy from the moon as well. Moonlight can be very significant. Yeah, we have sun coming up in reverse here. So again, with this moon energy, I'm hearing, what's that uh, X X Tentation Young song, uh, Moonlight? If I'm gonna ever let you go, okay, so that could be a message in there. Like, I'm not saying that any y'all like gonna commit suicide or nothing, but that's just the song that I started channeling, okay? So we definitely have the sun card in reverse, so talking about the moonlight, okay? So maybe there's a certain um, tactic or a certain skill or craft that you possess that you've been wanting to, you know, try under the moonlight or something that you do or something, maybe I'm like changing something up here, maybe the time of day, okay, maybe like daylight savings time, okay, this could be anything, but it's definitely getting a different time of day here, okay, I also feel as if you possess or hold a certain, a different, a very different um, set of skills or a type of energy more specifically here um, from when the sun goes up from when the sun goes down here, okay. Okay, that's actually what I'm getting here, okay? With the lump sum energy, we have lump sum, sublime, and lab right here, okay? Now, with this energy of lump sum, there could be some sort of um, payment that you're waiting on here, okay? With this lump sum energy or just a total, like, total sub sublime. Like, you're like the total package here, okay? That's really what I'm getting. There could have been some sort of karmic, like, trying to make you their lab rat or, like, kind of keep you in solitude of some sort here. <laughs> Very karmic energy. I'm getting like very overprotective here. Okay, possibly because they you're very pretty. Okay, what's that song? I hear you're so pretty. Never leave the city. Okay, something like that. All right, but I'm definitely getting that there could be a karmic energy here that's literally like. Like, I mean, again, we have defense here. So, again, with this, like, overprotective energy, because this person, like, literally thinks you're pretty, so nobody else, like, nobody else, like, I don't know. I don't know what this energy is, spirit. Okay, we have this energy of twin flame here. So, I feel like th this is you defending a possible, like, twin date, twin flame, twin name, okay? So, something about their name could be very significant, okay? That could be, um... But I'm getting defense, twin name, or twin flame. I said it again, twin name. Maybe y'all both share the same name or something like that. Okay, something that someone is defending this twin flame, like foundation or union here. Okay, something something along the lines of that. Okay, let's see, spiritual changes, ancestors, higher self messages here, higher self messages. Talk about listen, your foundation here, okay? Also, your names could be very significant. You both, can, your both of your names can hold hold a lot of weight here. Is also what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see, spiritual ages, ancestors, and what I mean that what I mean by that is like, in this lifetime, you and this uh, you and this person, you and your twin flame are going to have a lot of success with one another. It, it and it's not only with one another, but individually as well. You both will have a lot of success individually as well as together here. Okay, and we, that way, when you all come together, there's this sort of foundation to where it cannot be shaken here. Okay, because you're both gonna have your things together. Your you know your things together for the most part here, but um. But, you know, exactly like when you come together, it's even going to be more unshakable here, okay? It's the energy that it's giving, all right? We have the energy of miss you here. So I feel as if somebody definitely misses you here. Somebody kind of also wants to, like, maybe build some sort of foundation with you or possibly talk about build some sort of foundation with you, okay? I feel like this person may actually have proof here of possibly them getting their priorities together here, okay? Something like that. Maybe someone definitely wants to mix things up, especially when it comes to the view, okay? Maybe the view is very significant here, okay? With the energy of venue, okay? Location, okay? Someone could maybe want to change locations, okay? I'm here, send me your location list. Focus on communicating because I just need the time and place to come through. Okay, somebody could want to surprise you, surprise visit you. Okay, this is only one person. I feel like you know exactly who I'm talking about here, okay? Yeah, Eureka. Like, literally, I feel like this person literally just had, like, a, a Eureka, like, a surprise moment. Like, a seriously, like, a wow, like, a Eureka moment. Like, you, you are their one or you this is your one or something like that here, okay? Literally, surprise. This kind of really came to, like, a surprise to them here. And this kind of, they definitely kind of came across this, um this kind of eureka moment or this um enlightenment through like some sort of meditation practice as well now, this could be you as well uh, watching this video here okay meditating meditative practices have definitely been allowing these messages to come through much much more clearer for you here as well okay 
Yeah, everything, everywhere here. Okay, I feel as if you're this person's everything. Okay, I feel as also they see they see things that remind them of you like everywhere is the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, we have trilogy, so this could be like the third go round here or something like that with this person more specifically here. Okay, or this could have been like that's like, that's exactly what I'm getting. Okay, with the energy of trilogy. Let's see. Yeah, we have crab coming up in reverse here. So maybe this person. What's the crab coming up in reverse here? Berry. Okay, so I'm getting wine. Wine could be very significant. They could be wanting to wine and dine you here. Okay, that could be very significant. Um, <clears throat> when I hear craft in reverse here, it gives a mess. I don't know why it gives a mess. So something could have been a mess here in the past or something like that. But with this berry energy, I'm getting like the word berry. Okay, so something could have been very like... Let's get some clarification on this here. What Can I get some messages from the higher self, please, on this situation? Let's see, higher self messages. Yeah, exposure here, okay? So I feel like this person loves, like, they love to see you here, okay? They love your skin tone is what I'm hearing as well, okay? That can be very significant. That's very cute, okay? Moving. Like, I feel like this person feels bad possibly here for how things happen or some sort, some sort like that, okay? We have exposure, moving, bad here, okay? Someone could have been exposed for the way that they were moving or operating as well here okay or what they were doing something along the lines of that okay yeah we have breakthrough in reverse but i'm gonna take it upright we're not gonna take any reversals here which is why they kind of received some sort of a breakthrough um energy which is why we have the eureka um card coming out here as well here what's gonna cause some sort of breakthrough moment here for you okay Let's see, closing messages here. Yeah, 11.33 as I look on the clock. Okay, yeah, spirit is all over this here, okay? Higher self messages. Yes, yeah, sex here. Okay, so something could have definitely been heavily just surrounded or about, um, like, sexually driven here, okay? So then you're, I feel like something, something is about to be, like, a break, breakthrough for you, okay? Something is about to be um very uh, six abundant abundantly successful yeah you're about to be full okay they're about to be fulfilled in every way that you possibly can be here okay especially with this breakthrough energy that you could possibly be holding or possessing here yeah there's some sort of proof that you have here about something or this person could possibly have some proof about your possible celibacy you could possibly have proof that you have been celibate or this person has proof that they have been celibate that is not the first time this energy has come up in my reading as well so i feel like a lot of like my viewers are more specific i do channel for like you know higher vibrational energies or energy entities or just people that um, operate out on a higher frequency like my visionaries my artists you know um you know people like that so i feel as if <clears throat> with that being said i feel like there's a lot of like he say she say that just goes on around you in general here and i would not it would not be opposed to i would not oppose it or that a lot of this has to do with your sexual life because that kind of is what it brings it what comes with it here but i see that there is some proof about some sort of celibacy that you have been uh, maintaining here okay for yourself here or this could be for this person here in general let's see spirits of angels ancestors yeah, we have boundaries coming up in reverse here, okay? I feel like somebody wants you to, like, literally not respect yourself. <laughs> what the heck is this? Yeah, Mercury here. Okay, something about your communication is very significant. I feel like the way that you communicate is very rare. It's very odd. I'm hearing oddball, okay? From uh, Dalmatians, right? We have Zodiac. And this could have to, heavily happen to do happen to deal with your Zodiac, um, with your birth chart here, okay? So check your um, check your Mercury placement, okay? But something about, like, your communication. Like, I feel as if you communicate in a very noble way, very upright, very understanding, very clear, very confident even here as well, okay? With an energy of noble here, okay? paranormal here okay it could be it's almost like very paranormal it's kind of like when you speak people listen okay that's the energy that it's giving you but it's like it's like not because they want to listen but because they feel as if they should or something like that i don't know because they have like i don't know it's like a I'm not sure, but that's the energy that's giving, okay? We have a good guy, good girl as well here, okay? It's so weird because it's like, I feel as if you portray or you give off or you actually are, you hold this kind of innocent energy about you, this kind of good guy, good girl kind of like, you know, vibration about you. You know, somewhat here. Yeah, it's not saying that you don't have a dark side or nothing, but literally it's like somewhat. You do hold this energy here, and I feel like that's kind of like what gets people to kind of, you know, actually listen to you at the same time because of your your approach or your delivery here more specifically okay yeah it's something that you say or something that you do or make sounds really good like you make something sound really good here okay 
Absolutely. Let's get some closing messages. I said that already. Let's get one more, a few more cards before I close it out. Okay. We have ecstasy. Yeah. I feel like your voice is very significant as well here. Okay. Which is why I feel as if some of some of you may feel as if other people are trying to silence you to a certain extent here. Okay. But I feel like some your voice is very significant here. Okay. I feel like your voice is your product okay whether this be you singing okay rapping whatever a lot of you all may be right as public speakers something about your mercury placement your speech your communication is very significant here okay some people may think that your product or whatever that you're producing is irrational but i feel as if um low-key okay you're like full shooting stars okay yeah so i feel as if what's this energy here ecstasy we also have the energy of product. And then we have, what's this card right here, y'all? Yeah, we have low key, full, and then shooting stars here, okay? So yeah, I feel as if the more that you continue to fulfill yourself or fill yourself up, the better that you show up for others and even for yourself more specifically here, okay? Some people may feel as if you're full of yourself, but I feel as if you all are just some stars. Like, I feel as if you have a lot of energy that has kind of been held up or, or like, that you've been holding on to. Like, that, it's just, that you've just been building up here. And you're ready to kind of, you know, um, blast off, essentially, and put that into your, your product here, okay? Which is why I also feel as if you've been celibate so you can hold on to that energy and kind of continue to harness that energy and put it together or put it towards something that would be very beneficial to you here, okay? This person that keeps wanting to pop up in this reading here, Okay, I don't know who this is for you, but more specifically, this is an energy of together. <clears throat> Whatever that you do, I feel like this person may want to do it with you here, okay? I feel as if this person, this energy, this person, place, this person, they see you as superior to, like, any other kind of, like, competition or any other kind of energies, okay? They feel as if something that you are doing um, is successful. Or this is your higher self saying, like, you will have success here together, okay? Not only with this person, but just with you and, like, your 5D, your higher consciousness here. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Facts here, okay? And I feel like you, you do love, you do you do have love, okay? You and this energy. Whoever this person is, okay? Like, he's popping up in this reading. I feel like y'all do have love for each other. This person has a lot of love for you here, okay? They want to, like, lift you up and like applaud you here for something here okay so a speech again speech is very significant here with this mercury energy they could be wanting to like write you a poem write you a song hear poetic justice or something like that okay for this mercury energy again as well all right y'all round of applause <laughs> let me stop all right y'all make sure you like that i'll see y'all next time okay bye